So in this diagram here, in any of them, we're going to be considering a person pushing the body and then pulling the body. In this case, it is the lawn mower. And um, what causes any of them to be greater than the other? Actually, the factor here is going to be the frictional force acting on the two bodies. So let's begin by drawing all the forces acting on the system. Then you try to come up with the expressions for the frictional force, and then we compare the two. So let's begin with pushing. If the person is pushing the body, it means that the person and the body will be moving to the left with an acceleration A. And um, we have the weight of the body acting downwards as mg. And then we have the normal reaction R. We have the force with which the person is pushing down the body. I call it F1. And then the frictional force opposes the motion to be acting in the opposite direction. I'll call it my F1. So from the second law of motion, that the resultant force is given by mg. In this case, please note that we have the force acting at an angle theta to the horizontal. Since the person is moving to the left, and we say that work done is always, uh, the force is always pointing in the direction of the force, we shall resolve this force here to be moving in the direction of the force. So if this angle is theta, the two are opposite to each other, here I'll be having F, my force F1, so I'll be having F1 cos of theta, and then downwards its component will be F1 um, sine of theta. So my resultant force horizontally will be equal to F1 cos of theta minus the frictional force equals to Ma. Let me do the same for the for the pulling side. Okay, so on the pulling side, if I try to complete the forces acting on the system, you can see that my force F1 is pointing away from the body. And therefore, the components of this vertically and horizontally are these ones here. But for the other one, it was pointing down. And therefore, when I extend that one downwards, I'll be having my components acting downwards and then to the left as seen there. So if I try to use this second law of motion, that F is equal to MA, I'll be having my resultant force as F1 cos of theta minus the frictional force. Everything is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So we can see that in both equations 1 and equation 2, the expressions are the same. So what causes one, one, um, one side to be that work done is higher than the other? Why is it harder in either pushing or pulling? Let's find out that and we decide which one is harder than the other. So if the factor here is frictional force, it means that when we try to get the uh, expression for the frictional force, let me begin with the pushing. I'll be simply having my frictional force being equal to uh, mu r. And um, remember that my reaction is not just mg, but actually it is the sum of these two forces here. So I'll be having it as this is equal to mu into mg, the actual weight of the body, then plus the component of the force F1, F1 sine of theta. Then on the pulling side, my frictional force will be given by mu r, and when I try to express that in terms of what I've been given up there, my normal reaction r will actually be equal to mg minus F1 sine of theta. So comparing these two equations here, star and equation hash, you can actually see that in one we are adding, in the other one we are subtracting, which therefore means that if I call this one my F may be pulling, uh, let me just call it A, frictional force Fa, and then this one Fb, it can clearly be seen that my Fa is bigger than the Fb. In other words, the frictional force when I'm pushing is greater than the frictional force when I'm pulling the board. And therefore, I can simply summarize and say that it is easier to pull the lawn mower than pushing it, simply basing on these two expressions here. So when you're answering your question, always make sure that you take note of this equation, write it down, actually write both of them, and then use the two to compare 
the two and um, that will be the end of it all thank you for watching please like and subscribe to our youtube channel and um, follow us on social media platforms thank you very much